Sheldon, what are you looking for from uh, Minton in between Eisenhower and Krogh, if, if that's what you're going with tonight? That line. Yeah, just keep doing what he's been doing. He's, he's played really well, which is why you give him an opportunity like this one here tonight. Uh, we've liked a lot of what we've seen from him, and it's a chance to do it again tonight and, and do it you know, with, with a lot of our guys in, and uh, that's a different type of rhythm and a different type of feel than what he's had in the other games where he's really taken on a lot of the load and, and uh, you know, just kind of keep going over the boards and playing a lot of minutes, and I intend to play him a lot tonight, but... Playing a lot tonight will feel different than playing a lot on some of the other nights. What's it like for you? Is it exciting to, to see young players push for, for jobs like this? Yeah, it is. You know, there's, uh, you know, you, you're always hoping for it. Obviously, you want you want guys to push and challenge. It's a great thing. You wanna, you hope that you draft well enough that guys are are in that position. And we're fortunate that you know there's a number of guys here, right? Whether it's whether it's Nyes and his how quickly he's come in and made an impact last season and, and again in this camp and and uh, Cowan's had a terrific uh, camp for his first camp and uh, Mitten in terms of the the progress that he's made from one one season to the next or one camp to the next has been remarkable I don't know you know it, coming in we were excited to watch him again but he definitely he wasn't really on the radar you know there were some people internally that were were talking to me saying they thought Minton was going to really show well here and, and uh, surprise us in some ways, and I think he's he's certainly done that uh, in terms of the step that he's taken. Like he, he was he was a really impressive kid and player last year when he was here too. Played really well, and I think I remember right it was one preseason game he played for us last season, and I thought he was extremely impressive in that. A lot to be excited about, but it was clear that he was a ways away. Um, and he's closed that gap, I think, pretty significantly here now. Amongst your four guys, are you sensing any difference in mood or focus compared to last year at this time? Um, like, has, has winning a round had any trickle effect leading into this season? I, I think, you know, I, I think our guys are just more so wanting to push through the preseason. I think there's a, di a different feel around preseason in general for experienced players frankly since covid and the shutdown and they they you know you've always felt like you need to have a certain length of time and certain number of preseason games to feel ready and then all of a sudden we started to play less preseason games or no preseason games and they're like oh i feel fine uh, and i think so i think some of that has maybe bled into them wanting to just get past this and get get going and Try to use it to get as prepared as you can, but really want to play for real. And I think there's a sense of that. But it's also as our team's gotten older too. You know, just the more experience you get, I think you really just want to get down to the business. Wall and Samsonov get a start each now, Sheldon, the final two games. Or? Yeah, that's that's the plan here. Yeah, yeah. We wanted to get Sammy back in here tonight and uh, give Joel uh, a little bit more time. Obviously, he was under the weather last week and missed some time and and all of that. So uh, plans for for them to play full game each. How have you felt about Holmberg's camp, and is there anything you're looking for tonight with him if he's on, on the wing? Yeah, uh, we, we haven't used him on wing much, so I think it's, it's, a, it's a good good timing, obviously, with us giving Mitten the opportunity up the middle. Uh, it's a good chance for us to, to get Holmberg on the wing and give him some reps there. I'm confident in his ability to play center, and it's obviously a great depth and great option to have. But, uh, you know, the way that it's kind of been shaking out, there. Uh, there may be opportunity on the wings you know, available to compete for and want to give him an opportunity to do that. He hasn't played much wing. I do think it's a much easier transition for a center to go play wing. Um, and, but I like a lot about him. I think he's, you know, his, his camp, you know, kind of like last season, it's a quiet camp, not a whole lot that's going to really jump out. You gotta, but you really watch his game. There's a lot of detail and a lot of things that are, are reliable about his game. Klingberg skating again now. Are you hopeful he'll be ready for the start of the next week? The yeah, season? that's the plan. I think he's eager to maybe get a get a game in on Saturday because things went really well for him out there today. Um, that might be a little bit fast, but we'll we'll get him. Seems like we'll be able to get him in practice tomorrow and, and make a determination from there. But certainly trending towards being available next week. Is there anything in particular you want to see from the top power play unit tonight? Last kind of chance to maybe get up to speed. I just keep building on the things. So I mean, we, I mean, we went back at it like they. They were all over the net, scored a big big goal early in the game and then had a ton of opportunities all around the net. Some clean looks, uh, so lots of like there. Just some of the habits, details, 
you know, um, you know, maybe live, give it a little bit of time for the second unit to get out there every now and again too, if, if it's not working. But uh, uh, it's a, th that is an important thing. If you want to take anything away from from those guys playing together, um, you know, in these preseason games, especially with with a new power play coach in in, in Guy, uh, you want to see them kind of get some rhythm and get their touches. That's that's an important part of these games for me. Uh, Morgan, what stood out to you about Brady Mason in this game? Lots. Um, almost, I say everything. Um, he's played outstanding. Um, he's a he's a mature young guy that I think has left a good impression on, on about everyone he's talked to uh, over the last couple of weeks. So. Um, you know, for a guy like that to come in and play well and enjoy the moment and, um, you know, do what he's been doing is outstanding to see for, for him and uh, for our, our group. Why do you think this game has been able to hold up, I guess, at this level to the young age? Well, I think he's a really smart player. Um, you know, he obviously has a good understanding for the game and, you know, how to play his position. And, um, and then he just looks stronger than he was last year. and he's. You know, skating much better, I think, and uh, but ultimately, I think uh, you know his brain is, is is on his side. He's a he's a he's a smart young man. He's a smart player. So when he's out there, he's able to kind of you know find space and make plays. And if you're able to do that while also you know improving your skating and um, improving your strength during the off season, you know you put yourself in a position that he's in. You came to the team at, at uh, 19. You played the so-called extra year junior. What did that mm -hmm. extra year do you think do for you? Um, well, I think it was a bit different for me. It was big because I didn't play a lot the previous season uh, because of injury. But um, I think it's a chance to get confident, you know, kind of come into your own. Um, you know, when you go back for that year of junior, you, you kind of step into a leadership role on that team. And, you know, you learn how to handle certain things a little bit differently. And, um, again, you get stronger, um, bigger. You get a chance to, to watch more uh, uh, pro hockey and stuff. So, you know, it's a big opportunity for guys that get that opportunity. And, you know, you can tell that uh, that Fraser uh, made the most of it. Was the feeling going into this season amongst the guys a little bit different than it was at this time last year? Um, every year is different. Um, it, it's it's always a little bit different. So, um, I guess the answer to that is yes. You got some new faces. Um, you know, I think that you know, even though the ultimate outcome of how last year ended is the same, um, you know. It, it isn't exactly the same. There was some growth, um, so I think that there is there is differences. Um, you know, it's not always the easiest thing to pinpoint those things, but um, you know, everybody's feeling good. Um, you know, we're healthy for the most part, so you know, we got a chance to get rolling and um, you know, hopefully have a good start. How much did winning around alleviate a little bit of pressure? Yeah, I, th I mean, I think in the moment um, it was a, a great, you know, great feeling for our group. Um, then I mean, ultimately, like I just kind of alluded to, was you know it still ends with losing ultimately, but um, you know to have the chance to to prove to ourselves that you know we're able to to win around and we're able to kind of persevere through adversity and you know win close games, come down from late, and you know all the rest of it. I think uh, you know that's a good sign. Yeah, I think it's important that you know we play hard. I think we want to take another step here this preseason. Um, you know we're getting. We're getting down to the short strokes, and um, you know we're playing for real in a week's time. So it's a good opportunity for our guys to to improve and you know to feel really good. And uh, again, just take steps, you know, a bit more intensity. Um, uh, but you know, I, I would expect our group to be playing, you know, full tilt. How keen are you guys to actually play for real in a week's time and show what mm. you can do? Yeah, yeah, we're really excited. Um, you know, this time of year, it, it, you know, it always kind of feels like it drags on. You, like this last couple of days, you just want to get playing. Um, you know, everybody's chomping at the bit now. Uh, you know, camp's been good. We've had a good opportunity to kind of have new guys uh, uh, get more comfortable with their either deep pairings or line mates. Um, and at this point, everybody's feeling good and confident, and they just want to get get rolling. So uh, again, this will be a good opportunity for our team tonight to do one more kind of tune-up. Uh, you know, play with a lot of intensity, and you know, take this game very seriously. And then, um, you know, the next couple of days is just uh, you're just waiting to go. In particular with the power play tonight, like mm -hmm. what, what do you want to see? Yeah, you just want to keep building chemistry. You know, we have a good idea what the structure is. Guy's done a really good job in the meetings and explaining things extremely well. So for us, it's just about um, execution and work ethic and um, just trying to build that chemistry. I guess first off, uh, Gio was really impressed with your golf swing. <laughs> Today, what's the secret to your success there? Uh, it's not a good swing. I just... Uh, 
put my whole back into it and swing away. Yeah, so I think he had a good laugh at it. You get some good distance, though. Yeah, I mean, if I get a hold of it, yeah, I get some good distance, but it doesn't usually go straight, so. <laughs> Fraser uh, has kind of uh, emerged at this camp. What have you seen from him? What stands out about yeah, Minton's sure. game? Yeah, I think he uh, he plays all, all three zones really well. Um, he's a really good 200-foot player, and um, you know, I think he's really sound defensively and can obviously make plays offensively. So um, I think he's a really good player, and um, yeah, I just really enjoyed playing with him. Yeah, I think we just uh, we love to be you know pests out there. I think we like to forecheck a lot. We like to um, you know play on offense, but I think we uh, we know each other really well out there, and um, you know I think it's it's nice to play with someone with really good hockey sense that that. Um, can make plays and, and find you in places that others can't. And um, but yeah, I think we just really work hard and, and forecheck well. How long ago does uh, Traverse City feel for you? <sighs> that's a, that's a while for sure. Um, yeah, but that was a good experience. And but I'm excited to be in Toronto now and just uh, be with the rest of the guys. It's uh, it's been a fun fun camp so far. So I'm just really looking forward to the regular season. What was, the, what was the trip to Gravenhurst like for you? Like, do you feel a little bit more? One of the guys, like you know, you're starting right from the beginning, not dropping in, that sort of. Thing. Yeah, it feels uh, feels good. You know, I mean, it's a lot of team bonding happens, and um, yeah, it's just nice to get to know the guys a little better and um, be a part of the group. It's uh, you know, it hasn't been it hasn't been too long that I can, you know, kind of sit around and chat with these guys. You know, it's always been hockey and always um, you know so intense in here, so it's nice to kind of relax and get to know the guys a little bit better off the ice. Are you ready for an 82 game season? Like that's a lot of hockey for you. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, that's what I try to prepare myself for best is, uh, you know, to withstand that kind of season. And, um, you know, I think, you know, playing um, all these preseason games, I think it's kind of helped me, um, you know, build some confidence and get to, uh, you know, kind of understand the NHL game a little bit better. And um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, you know, I'm really fortunate that I can, uh, you know, get to maybe get to get get to play in this. And, um, yeah, I think I'm ready for it. Hanging out with your dad, still playing at 40, like, what, what did you learn? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Mark. Yes. It's hard of hearing. Um, <laughs> got to speak up with him. Uh, what do you learn? Like, I mean, just, I don't know if he's telling stories, whether it's about hockey or life. Yeah, I think just all his stories about when he was playing when he was younger and the guys he played against. You know, I think I remember a story when he was playing against uh, Doan now and, you know, how hard he was to play against. So just little stories like that, it's always fun to listen to. And, um, yeah, he's, you can learn a lot from him. Fraser, uh, what's it mean to you to still be here late in camp with the chance to make this team? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, I think I told you earlier this camp, my goal is just to, you know, work hard every day and, and earn another day. And it's been, you know, almost 10 days since then. So I've been doing a good job of that. And uh, still being here, getting the chance to play tonight is uh, really, really, I'm really happy about it. How do you deal with the pressure? Like knowing it's, it's a preseason game, but, you know, how you perform might impact whether you stick around. I don't really feel any pressure. This is just an amazing opportunity to me. Like, um, wasn't necessarily something I expected coming in to be here at this stage and getting the opportunity I am. So, um, you know, I, I don't feel like like I can lose out there tonight, no matter how it goes. So, I'm um, just excited about it. What yeah. makes work for you to give you those chances to grind? I think being myself. Um, I think uh, the way I play is uh, like smart hockey, and I think at the NHL, it's uh, a big focus when. You know, it's a it's a business. They need to win games. The more you can manage the puck, put it in their end more than yours, get it out of your end. That that helps tilt the ice. So, um, I think the way I play is built for pro. So I think uh, that's helped me. Sheldon was saying that he likes your leadership qualities. You've been really speaking up on the bench. Will that be a little tougher to do on a night like this, where it's all the kind of the entire team is playing and you're one of the youngest guys? Yeah, probably a little bit at first. Um, you know, if you're uh, just breaking in, you don't want to over push like with being too vocal or anything, but i um, just going to be myself out there and see what happens. Were you always like that, vocal on the bench, or is that something you, you know, had to push yourself to become? No, I think I was always like that. I just, just love hockey, want to win, want everybody else to do well, so just speak. It, it helps with the camaraderie and playing as a group. How long ago does Traverse City feel? A while, actually, yeah, especially being at a hotel now for, for almost a month. Those days sometimes tick pretty slow, but uh, yeah. Not, not like yesterday, that's for sure. I was with Riley, uh, Klingberg, and uh, 
Laugh. Laugh was awesome. He was the best of our group. Yeah, he gave us a chance. We didn't really help him out too much. <laughs> How's your golf game? It's not great. No. no. What's it like to be on that trip, like that team bonding trip? It's really cool. It's it's surreal. Like you're you're looking around, seeing who's sitting at the table with you. You're like, oh my god, this is pretty cool. If you told me two years ago I'd be here, that would uh, I wouldn't believe you. So it was awesome and really grateful to be able to go there. Any cool interactions like with the guy that you? Wouldn't have expected to be in that situation with a couple of days ago. Every interaction was cool still, so <laughs> nothing specific. Any good advice? From the guys? Yeah. Uh, just, just keep it going, be myself. Um, the biggest thing that helps from them is just like a pat on the back or something, honestly, at this stage, or uh, saying hi in the morning, stuff like that, like goes a long way with just feeling welcomed and stuff. Yeah, everyone, everyone gives me that all the time here and now, so it's awesome. What's uh, the feedback from back home? Are they kind of uh, your family? I don't know how much you get a chance to talk to them. It's been busy, but like, are they kind of following this story? Yeah, um, I'm not on Twitter or anything, but my, my parents, all my friends are, so I get everything sent from them. They love reading all that, so they keep, <laughs> they keep me in the loop. What, what's Sheldon <clears throat> saying to you over, over this camp? What, what's been his message to you? He's been really happy. Uh, he's been telling me just, just keep going. It's about consistency from him right like it's coming in new guy there's no pre-existing trust or anything so anytime you you mess up or do something that's not favorable it looks pretty bad on you and you got to work extra hard to gain that trust back so just remain consistent consistent it's long long season um, so he wants to see me just continue to do what I've been doing and uh, see where it goes from there It's cool. Um, like the every rink that I've been to so far since I've been here is is like whoa. It's pretty pretty sweet. Um, the obviously the dressing room, everything's awesome too. Uh, so a bit of everything's new, obviously.